And we welcome you to NRG Stadium here in Houston. Final road game of the regular season. Jeff, this has been a red-hot Jaguars team, but you got to keep it going, and you haven't won against this team in a while. Well, and this game matters, you know, because there's an opportunity at a winning record to go 9-8, and eight, but also a win today allows a wild-card opportunity, even if you lose to the Titans next week. And, Tony, momentum is everything, and this team wants to keep it. Well, and it's about changing culture, Jeff. It's about, hey, we are going to be the dominant team in the AFC South. This is the division rival. This is the team that beat you earlier. This is the team that you want to go prove something and then next week again. So going into next season, it's all about the Jacksonville Jaguars as the king of the South. Now, understand what's at stake. All of us bring your energy, bring your own energy, and beat off each other. It can't happen, it won't happen, and it will not happen today. That thing gonna make us fall asleep. All game, for 60 minutes, the entire game, beat off each other. The Houston Texans will go on offense right there. Davis Mills is the quarterback, the second-year player out of Stanford. As we've talked about, though, you will see Jeff Driscoll, the running quarterback, a bit today as well. Driscoll back in the game as a quarterback, an extra lineman in as well now. So heavy set in an eye formation on third down in a yard. Same look as a moment ago. They give it to Ogunbowale again. This time he didn't get there. Devin Lloyd drilled him right at the line of scrimmage. It'll be fourth down and a yard for Houston. And what will the Texans do They're now? They're going for it, Jeff. It's not even – Lovey didn't even hesitate. They line up quickly here. He's under center on fourth down and a yard. It is a quarterback sneak. They hit him. I don't think he got there. Rayshon Jenkins finished him off. I think he's going to be short of first down yardage. I think the ball's going over on down. That's it. That's all they get. That's all they get. So the Jags take over on downs. They'll start at the 45 of Houston. Trevor Lawrence in his last seven games, 14 touchdowns and one interception. He's been very good. So they have the blitz on first down. So they throw it underneath. That is caught by Christian Kirk. He broke a tackle. Christian Kirk's going to have a first down. And Christian Kirk now has gone over 1,000 yards receiving on the year. Second down, they snap it quickly. Trevor looks, looks, fires. That ball's going to be caught. Down at the five-yard line. Inside handoff to Michael Hasty leads from the goal line. Touchdown! A five-yard touchdown run from Jamichael Hasty and Jacksonville strikes first. Yeah. Yeah. Starts at the 38. They go left to right here. Inside handoff, Travis Etienne. He's in the open field, 40, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Travis Etienne. What a great job by the offensive line of opening up a huge cavity and making it an easy run for Etienne. He was touched one time, and that was by Petrie, the safety, coming up. But he had a bad angle, and Travis just ran right through him all the way to the end zone. Empty backfield, dropping and throws Davis Mills. Throws it out to the left side. That ball came out. That ball has come out there. Tyson Campbell picks it up. He's going to run it into the end zone for the touchdown. The ball popped out. Campbell picked it up. 
and he scores for Jacksonville. Josh Allen, who I think gets a piece of the arm. So Josh Allen gets credit for a sack, cause fumble, and then the pickup, scoop and score by Tyson Campbell. Guys, really great interaction in the locker room. Foyer Lucas stood in front of the team and said, we got to match their work ethic and intensity. Doug Peterson followed by saying, it's all about the Jaguars. We want to make sure we take care of our business. We want to dominate them in the second half and make sure we finish the game the right way. So the Jags will start now at their own 25-yard line. They'll go from our right to our left, leading 21 to nothing here at the half. Trevor throws it over to Middlefield. That's going to be caught. Evan Ingram dragging defenders with him. Boy, that's a terrific catch and run by Evan Ingram. Trevor hangs in there, fires right side, that ball is caught by Marvin Jones Jr. It was tipped into the air, but he hung on. What great concentration. 11th play of the drive, they'll mark it at the three yard line. First and goal from there. Inside handoff, Snoop into the end zone, touchdown. Snoop Connor, the first touchdown of his career. The rookie scores, and Jacksonville has extended the lead. job by the offense of taking the opening drive of the second half down the field methodically and to take what is going to be a 28 to nothing lead here in the third quarter. This thing keeps going the way it has in this next drive. Maybe it's three and out. Texas is not doing much. I would then put in your backup offensive lineman, Bether, a quarterback, and try to get as many of the starters on the sideline messing up with the biggest game in a long time in this franchise against the Titans to go to the playoffs. I just saw that Trevor Lawrence went and got an earpiece, so he's not putting his helmet back on, so it's going to be Beathard. And Hans has got his helmet strapped up tight, and Sheriff has his shoulder pad straps undone. I don't think you could have scripted this game any better. I mean, really. I mean, you come out, you score early, you get – a nice lead, you get to the point where you can rest some starters because look, the Titans played Thursday night, they're gonna have the extra rest as well. The clock will run out. The Jaguars have come to the Lone Star State and they leave alone in first place in the AFC South. How good is that? How good is this bounce back from the Jacksonville Jaguars been? They were two and six. They were three and seven. Jeff, they're now eight and eight, control their own destiny. They play the biggest home game in a long, long time next week. That's well, going to be a hot ticket. I'm telling you, there's going to be a lot of people wanting to be at that ball game, and it's going to be exciting because it's a win and end based upon the outcome of that game only. We said a long time ago that we wanted this thing to come down to Week 18, and it has. Week 18, it's time. We, we talked about it last night. We've talked about it all week. There's no reason to go back now. Yeah, you guys have come, come way too far. You've battled too, too much. You've gone through adversity physically. We hang together. We rock and roll. Let's put in a good week of uh, preparation of uh, one day at a time get ready for next weekend. Okay? Go ahead, let's go. Great win, fellas. One more next week. Let's go. Family on three. One, two, three. Yeah. We talked about meaningful football around Thanksgiving. And here we are. <laughs> Final game of the year is as meaningful as it gets.